Hi everyone, I am Melorn Alcid, a nursing student of North Valley College Foundation Incorporated first year. So today, we will do the hand washing and donning of the sterile gloves. So, our equipment are the bar soap, the bar soap, the tissue, and the sink and the running water. We have here the trash can. And that's our equipment. So first, so stand in front of the sink. Do not allow your uniform to touch the sink during washing procedure. Because as the sink is considered contaminated, uniforms may carry organisms from place to place. So next is remove your jewelry or the ring or something the bracelet because removal of jewelry facilitates proper cleansing microorganisms may accumulate in setting of jewelry next turn on water and adjust force water splash from the contaminated sink will contaminate your uniforms Next is sweat the hands from wrist area pointing fingers toward to the bottom of the sink. So, water should flow from the cleaner area toward the more contaminated area. Hands are more contaminated than before arms. Next, use bar soap. Lather thoroughly with bar soap. Rinse the bar soap and return to the soap dish. Because rinsing the soap removes the lather that may contain microorganisms. So next with firm rubbing and in circular motions, wash the palms, the back of the hands, Each fingers the knuckles pointing fingers back of your hands the wrist then to the forearms wash up the forearms at least as high as contamination is likely to be present so friction caused by firm rubbing and circular motions help the dirt and organisms that can lodge between fingers in skin crevices of knuckles and palms and box of the hands as well as the wrist of the forearms so continue this friction for 10 to 30 seconds. So length of this length of is determined by degree of contamination. So next, rinse thoroughly. Visually inspect for the remaining dirt of the soap turn of the soap. So from arm to here. So, running water rinses organisms and dirt into the sink. At this prevents the nurse from picking up. So, next, dry the hands and wrist with the tissue. Because drying the skin will prevent chopping. So see if there is no soap that will left. And 
and throw this to your trash can. So off the faucet using your towel or the tissue. And then So next is the donning of the gloves. Wait. So So in donning sterile, sterile gloves, first is so we wash our hands and remove the jewelry. So next is remove the outer package, be carefully peeling apart the sides. So we, we peel. So remove outer package by carefully peeling apart the side. So it prevents inner glove packages from accidentally and touching contaminated. So next grab the inner package and lay on the clean flat surface, just waist level. The package keeping the gloves on the wrapper. So sterile objects held your waist is considered contaminated. So inner surface of your glove packages is considered sterile. So open Next is, you have to identify the right and left gloves. Each glove has a cup approximately 5 cm or 2 inches wide. Love your dominant hand first. Because the proper identification of gloves prevents contamination by feet. Then, gloving of dominant hand first improves your dexterity so so this is so I am right handed so this is my dominant hand and this is my non-dominant hand so I will first do it with my right hand or in my dominant hand So, I will carefully pull glove over my dominant hand, leaving a cuff and being sure that the cuff does not roll up to the wrist. Be sure that the thumb and fingers are in spaces. So, I will pull. So, I... So with my dominant hand, I will go. So I will enter. Oh no! What are you?
go with my glove dominant hand so I will flip my four fingers underneath the second glove cup with the thumb abducted so you don't have to with your glove hand you don't have to touch any surface or your face because it will contaminate so next flip my forearms four fingers here like that and I will carefully pull the glove I will enter now carefully pull the glove in my dominant hand do not allow fingers and stop of gloves dominant hand to touch any part of the of dominant of your dominant okay so we're done so next we are now free to adjust our hand where we are comfortable with so contact of glove glove hand with exposed hand results in contamination so we are now gloves thank you By removing gloves, using the dominant glove hand, grabs the other gloves and remove by inserting it, keeping the contaminated area on inside. Continue to hold on to the glove. So, So, continue to hold on to it. Next, the slide fingers of ungloved band inside the remaining gloves. Grab on inside and remove by turning inside out over hand and the other glove. So, contaminated area does not come in contact with the hand. So, I will put this inside and turn inside out. Okay. Discard gloves inside the wrapper in appropriate container and wash hands. So, you have to wash your hands. Hand washing reduces the speed of the microorganism. 